Everybody, welcome to Epic Brew. I'm Tom. Today, there's not going to be any gameplay, but I've been asked by a lot of different people to showcase some of my builds. And if you've been watching the channel for a while, chances are you've seen most of these float around in a video, maybe just one time, maybe a couple different times. But I'm going to go through not all of them. I'm going to go through three different categories. I'm starting with my character builds, which are either uh characters from other movies or games or based on celebrities there's only a couple actual celebrity builds but we got young link first uh made it a couple weeks ago the tears of the kingdoms release uh pretty self-explanatory there that's the armor if you want to build it yourself and then i have ocarina a time link there's the armor right there it lists it in the little pop-up window uh just pretty basic stuff bastard sword fighter bomb Recurve Bow, Ranger, Scavenger, Huntsman, nothing too fancy there. And the biggest difference is the color scheme between the two of them, right? And this one just uses the Gambus and coat. I think the legs are... Oh, yeah, those are the Hunters, and then these are the just leg ramps. Those are the two differences, just because the armor changes from Ocarina of Time to uh, Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild. Then we got Budget Thor. <laughs> it's pretty another self-explanatory one. It's just Thor, but he's got wood mallets instead of Mjolnir. Bunch of perks. This was a very early build that I came up with when I first started doing the channel. I don't think I've really used Budget Thor since, but there you go. That's Budget Thor, and that's uh, the armor for it, and then all these perks. All the perks. And we got Jason I did for Friday the 13th. I think it was last year I made this guy. Uh, there's the armor, Falchion, Smoke Bomb. Rush, Wrecker, Rat, Fireproof. That's the build right there. The reason I'm showcasing these builds, by the way, is in America, it's a long holiday weekend. And I figured people are going to be want to play a little bit of Mordhau in their free time. So here's a bunch of builds you can try out for yourself. This gets into the office builds. Pan Beasley. I don't think I've ever even played this build. I might actually take this build out after my uh, duels video. If you know, you know. Uh, I might take Pan Beasley out, practice with the pans. And then I got Jim Halberd, which we've seen many times throughout the channel's history. And then Kevin Malone, who we've never seen on the channel because I don't really use malls too much. But the name fit, and it was a good build. There you go. Prison Mike. I don't think I've used Prison Mike either. Is this, I built him as a scavenger, just kind of like the scrappy scavenger character build. I got the Steve Carell schnoz going on there. <laughs> I got Dwight Flute, assistant to the regional manager. There you go. I took his uh, his flute out because I wanted to grab the screenshot for the thumbnail when I originally made the office characters. But, uh, oh, yeah, let me show you just quickly. The armor, Pam Beasley's armor, Jim's, Kevin's, Mike's, and then Dwight's. But there you go. As the office build, Aloy here from Horizon Zero Dawn. I was just kind of playing around with the build. Never really did anything with this build. Um, she uses a spear in the game, and then obviously the bow is like the primary weapon in the game. I just beat Zero Dawn. I haven't played Forbidden West yet. Um, and it was kind of hard to recreate her armor from the game because there's a lot of like highlights with blue and then like very bold red coloring. And that just wasn't an option. It was either too much blue or too much red. So I kind of had to settle for like the reddish uh, leather padding here. And then the blue kind of outline underneath it all. I don't think I'll do anything with this build. It's mostly just kind of me messing around, seeing if I could do it. I'd give it like a C plus for effort. <laughs> but if you want to try it out, there you go. That's the Aloy build. And then I've got Judge Dredd. A couple of people have been asking where this guy's been. Um, I don't know. It's a good question. Maybe he'll pop up in a video soon. Haven't done a crossbow video since returning to Mordhau after the Epic Game release. But that's Judge Dredd right there. There's his armor. And then let me show Aloy's armor right there. And then we get Captain Crunch based on Captain Crunch, the serial mascot. Uh, I forget why I made this build. I think I just wanted to make... Like, I had the idea for the build, and I wanted to make it, so I did, and then I think I used it for one video. I might have used it during the Halloween 
community event where we all dressed up in costumes. I don't remember, but Captain Crunch, that's the armor right there. And then Haru from uh, was Beverly Hills Ninja, I think, is the movie. I forget. I watched the movie a long time ago. I thought it would be funny to make a build with him. Uh, it was not giant. Uh, tank. Yeah, tank and quarter staff. It was all right. He got a little throw of knives and axe. That's the armor right there. I don't really use this build too much. I don't use tank too much either. I just don't really like it. And then Peter Jackson, kind of famous on the channel. He's my all javelins build. Uh, he's based loosely on, P well, not loosely. He's based on Peter Jackson's appearance in the two towers when he pops up <laughs> at the top of the wall at Helm's Deep and he throws a javelin. And then that's his cameo. It's just throwing a javelin. So I tried to base the design off of what he was wearing in that scene and this is what I came up with that's the armor right there and then all javelins and the perks and then I got Chef Ramsay uh, you've probably seen a Chef Ramsay running around it was more popular to see like when when how first came out for the first couple of months there was almost always a Chef Ramsay and there was almost always a Geralt from The Witcher running around in every single match. You don't really see it too much anymore, but you do see it from time to time. My Gordon Ramsay build. That's the armor. Two cleavers, one for throwing. I guess you could throw both. And then Firebomb and the perks. And then Samwise is who I mentioned from yesterday's duel video. Uh, this was the, I'm pretty sure it might be the only video I did with the pan. I might have had one character, like a peasant, use the pan in a video but this was the only character that i've specifically built to use the pan with that i have used and it was sam and because he's a dwarf it was just not a great time i didn't really like this build sorry sam you look so sad to hear it but maybe you'll like it it's silly it's honestly a good build making hobbits is a good is a good choice and then i got tony tomahawk pro skater when they added the ability to shield surf on the pavis shield I unlocked the Pava Shield and I built this guy right here, Tony Tomahawk. Gave him obviously throwing axes like the Tomahawk, you get it. Um, but yeah, it's the only build that I have a shield with and it's not even to use properly. Blackbeard's my rapier build. Again, a very old, old build early on in the channel's history. I think I've only done one or two videos with this. I don't particularly like the rapier too much. It's just predictable. You see it, you know, okay, they're going to be rolling up with it. And uh, if they do anything else, it'll tickle. But that's the build right there. The armor. And then let me show you the Tony Tomahawk armor. I keep forgetting to show the armor. Um, I made some Avengers builds that I never really did anything with. Captain America. Um, I think the third video I ever did, one of the very earliest builds, uh, was a shield throwing video. I just tried to see how many kills I could get in one round by throwing shields. Uh, again, really the only reason that I have this unlocked was for that. And then I wanted to make a Captain America build because I made uh, a couple of Avengers characters, including Tony Stark. That's the armor right there. A bunch of rocks instead of bullets, firebomb instead of rockets. He obviously can't fly, but if he tries to, he'll be okay because he has cat. And then Bruce pretty self-explanatory he's the hulk pre-hulk he's a, just a big boy he's got all the perks he's got the bandages to heal himself the only thing he's missing is uh the green skin and until they add body paint he's going to be looking like bruce right there so those are my character builds based on celebrities and or pop culture characters i've got silly soldiers uh these are my builds that i built to do like a specific thing with uh, but they're not like I, I wouldn't say I I look to use them a lot but I don't want to delete them in case I do want to revisit the builds it's all just like kind of stupid little ideas I have for videos or whatever uh, this was gravy it was my Halloween build uh, I'm trying to think I think I did a video not too long ago where I used I respawned with whatever weapon killed me and this was kind of, I think it was the first time I did that was with Gravy. And like the gimmick was it was Revenge from the Grave because it's Halloween and spooky and everything. 
I really like how this character turned out, like the design of him. I think it's it's just a good looking character for this purpose. So there you go, gravy knives, self explanatory. I just made an ugly looking guy, <laughs> gave him knives to throw. I don't think I've I think I used this in one video and then that was it. But that's knives for you. That's the armor. That's the armor. Uh for Father's Day last year I did Papa and Son. So every time I would die, I would swap from Papa, who was a tank, to Son, who was a dwarf. And it was like, he's got the big evening star that looks like spiky ball. He's got a mace that looks like spiky ball. Otherwise, their builds are exactly the same. I thought it was a good idea. I had fun with it. I wouldn't mind doing it again. I think Father's Day is coming up soon. I might do it again. But there you go, Papa and Son. There's the armor. 5k when I hit 5,000 subscribers uh it was a while ago but we just hit 10k hey uh <laughs> but I promised everybody I would actually unlock the mall because I didn't have the mall unlocked uh so when I hit 5,000 subscribers I unlocked the mall and I built this guy to run around with it wasn't really like a serious game it was more like a oh my gosh Tom's using the mall everybody look um but yeah, I think Captain Crunch was the first serious attempt I had at playing with the mall. I've got Poseidon here. Uh, I built this when the Partisan first came out. There's a, a better Trident Partisan skin now in one of the DLC armor packs. I don't remember which one it is. It's one of the two, but it's a really cool looking Trident uh, Partisan skin that I'll probably end up swapping in. But for now, this is what he's got. Pretty basic uh partisan you throw that thing and it hits him like a freight train i've got cave troll randall he's my dwarf rock thrower <laughs> sometimes i just run around with him have a good time i'm pretty good with the rocks i gotta say i do like using the rocks um i don't know if the tier three armor is even worth it with the dwarf but whatever i don't really put too much thought into this guy i just take him out and throw rocks pilgrim tom i made for Thanksgiving like two years ago just to try to make him look like a pilgrim gave him a crossbow and a bear trap I don't know that's about as pilgrim as a, you can make a guy look in this game I think pretty happy with the way that design came out too and then I got sticks and stones he uses a stick he's got rock he should have something else he should have another rock I think I don't know I don't know where his walk, rock went that was hard to say. Rock went. But uh, yeah. That's the build right there. Nothing too crazy. That's the armor. He's got that skull cap on. Prison Mike skull cap. Here's Pan Man. This is okay. This was the guy I built to use pants. And I might have used this in a video. I don't. I honestly don't remember. Um, but yeah. His name is obviously Pan Man. So I must have used him. Or planned to use him with the frying pants. But he doesn't have frying pants. I don't know. There he is, though. <laughs> he looks all right. He looks like a little baker. And I've got the Wee Knight. When they added dwarves, this was the first dwarf character I made. I think I used him once. And then never again. I don't really like using the dwarves. Flamingo. It's just a poleaxe that's pink. It's just a pink build with the poleaxe. I thought, you know what? Why not? I don't have a pink character. Let's make one. So I made the flamingo. That's... The origin story it's so <laughs> exciting boxer self-explanatory i think he might be one of my few classes that use brawler i don't remember any other ones off the top of my head i think bruce uses the brawler obviously but this was like my dedicated i'm actually gonna try build and i might have used it like maybe once or twice but there you go pants <laughs> my big spartan when we did uh, Spartan Community Night, that was fun. This was the build I used for that. That's the armor right there, just a spear and then tank. Nothing too crazy. The Wee Archer. Got the Big Spartan and then the Wee Archer. When we did um, Dwarf Archer Community Night, we filled up half a server with nothing but Dwarf Archers. That was chaos. This was the build I used for that right there. An axe, a bunch of perks. Reaper, I don't know why I built this. I don't think I've ever used it in a video. Um, 
I honestly don't know. I think this might have been one of my early like attempts at making like a dual build. And then I just ditched the main weapon for a smoke bomb. I don't know. I think I planned this for a Halloween build at some point and then never ended up using it. But yeah, that's Reaper right there. And then Jester Test was just when they released <laughs> all of this stuff. I just wanted to see like the different color schemes and how it looked and play around with the Sham a bit. So I made this guy and that's why he exists. Okay, now the final category is going to be my bow boys. I'm showing you my bow boys. There's a couple other categories. You know the dual guys. I mean, it's you've seen that a hundred times and you've seen this guy increasingly amount. New player builds, I have a whole video on those. Uh, my weapon guys, uh, these are what I'm most likely to use in uh, like my gameplay videos. I'll probably make another video where I go through them because there's more to discuss with these. But for now, we're going to do bow boys. I mean, you've seen this. I just throw this guy on the, the thumbnail whenever I need to make <laughs> a video about nothing in particular. Is my longbow boy, longbow cleaver combo boy. That's the build right there. My fire arrow guy here. I just like kind of redesigned him a little bit. I went for like a red to dark orange to light orange kind of flame design going on here. And I accidentally made him look like Kevin Bacon, I think. Just a little bit, maybe. But he's got the toolbox that you need for the fire arrows. Nothing but bow I made not too long ago. Uh, when I came back and there were just so many brand new players, I felt real kind of scummy running with this guy. So I just made this guy where I just gave him a bow and that was it. So I don't really use him too much anymore. The mass quantity of new players is kind of dissipated, but he existed. I used him a couple of times. The assistant, I did a video on this guy a while ago. Basically, the idea was... To see how many assists I could get. I wasn't worried about getting kills. Just I wanted to see how many assists I could get in one match. So I took the recurve bow. And I would just run around. And I would just shoot every enemy I could one time. And hope that somebody else finished it. So I would get the assist. And then I gave him the medic bag. Just because it kind of goes with the theme. Of being an assistant. Double crossbows. It's self explanatory. It's two crossbows. That's the build. I don't really know the story behind this. I just wanted to make it. So I made it and I gave him an eye patch because I thought it would be funny that there's an archer with just one eye. But then I guess think of like Anna from Overwatch. She's not an archer, but she's a sniper. She's got the one eye and it works out for her. So that's the build. Nothing crazy. Long bow, long boy. That was another tongue twister for me. I'm so used to saying long bow. The long boy, he's just got the long bow and the long sword. That's it. No armor. I try to make them look like they have armor, right? Even though he's got none on, just to make it a little bit harder for him to be like randomly targeted. Because you see, as an archer, you see somebody running around with no armor. Boom. Like that's your target, right? So if I make him look like he might have armor on from a distance, that kind of uh, dissuades an archer from speaking to people with no armor on. Um, it dissuades enemy archers from taking shots at me. And then my recurve bow build. Um, might have done a video or two with this. I don't ever really use it. I'm not a big fan of the recurve bow. Um, I guess I armored him up, huh? Gave him a cleaver. But yeah, those are my archers. Those are my characters. Those are my silly soldiers. <laughs> That's it today. I just wanted to do a quick little run through. Like I said, it's a holiday weekend. People are going to be looking to play in their free time. I hope everybody has a safe holiday weekend. If you don't live in America, you don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Just have a great weekend nonetheless. Try some of these builds out. Let me know if you find one that you like and that works for you. If you have any suggestions for new builds, drop a comment. I am happy to consider anything and everything as long as it's not inappropriate. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I'll catch you all next time.